Hi everyone, my name is Jamie. Welcome to Border Bananas and to my 15th Fun Finds Friday. <music> to jump right into it, I went to Goodwill and got some good stuff and I also went to Amazon and that's it. I'm going to start off with Amazon. I have been wanting and saving for a new set of kitchen chairs for quite a while but I hadn't really decided what I wanted um, until now. I went with the farmhouse style metal chairs. I got them in the bronze finish from Amazon and I decided to pay just a little bit more for them because, and then they came with free Amazon, or free prime shipping, but they weren't prime shipped, if that makes sense. Um, if you're a prime member, you got free shipping, but it wasn't prime. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can make that any, I don't know how to make it clear. It ended up being about the same amount of money as if you would have gotten the prime ones because the prime ones were more expensive. <laughs> but um, the ratings on these chairs were better, so those are the ones I went with. I will definitely have them linked down below for you. Uh, what excited me so much about these chairs were the size. I didn't want the backs of the chairs as high as the backs of my other chairs, which is kind of why I went with these ones, and uh, the durability with my kids and new puppy on the way. So I didn't want anything that could be chewed up really. And if it did get chewed up, I want to be able to spray paint it <laughs> basically. So, um, and another thing that really excited me about these is I can fit eight chairs at my kitchen table with these chairs because the scale is smaller. My other ta uh, chairs, the, the backs on the chairs were probably this, this wide. So, and I could only put two at uh, each side. So I. I I actually want to get one more set of these chairs. They're really nice and I am very impressed with the quality. So um, I'll move on to Goodwill because I've got a box full of stuff here and um, just a couple of things to be worn. I'm going to start off with a pair of shoes for my daughter Alexandra. I'm always looking for black flats for her. She um, we'll get a pair, wear them out, move on to the next pair, and that is just what she does. Uh, she just lives in black flats, so I got these ones for her. Um, they are from the brand uh, Natural... What is that? Naturalizer. There we go. <laughs> and they were $5 with a green tag. You can see that on the bottom here. Um, and they're just simple black patent leather shoes. They're very comfortable. I tried them on myself and in great shape. They could just use a little bit of a polish and she loves them. So that's awesome. And I also found my daughter Madeline a pair of Born sandals. They are black, um, so comfy, comfy and in great shape. They look like this and um, just a little heel. And I don't know if you know anything about Born shoes, but they're extremely comfortable and very well made, um, all leather shoes. Um, and then, you know, they have nice cushioning too, so that's really important. <laughs> now this next item um, is a replacement for an item that I have, and I've tried and tried and tried to love the item that I have. And it, what it is, is it's a green, olive green suede Franco Sarto saddlebag style purse. It has a tassel on it um, that I just think is so darn cute, but I hate carrying it because it's so stiff and the opening at the top is like this. And to, if you're going to put a wallet in there, you can't put anything else in there because the wallet won't fit. It's just, it's just odd. So I decided, I found this one at Goodwill. It was, I don't know the name of the brand or anything. I don't think it's real leather. It was $6.99 with a yellow tag and it just looks like this and it is cross body um, and it has like the opening flap on the back and on the inside it looks like just simple green on the inside and I will show you the tag to see if you guys know what brand that is I don't know what brand that is so um, I am going to I don't know what does it say it's like an A an A plus maybe yeah so I don't know but I can't wait to use this um, I think it is super cute so the next thing I got was this cute little farmhouse stand I think it is so cute it's just black I will probably paint it because it's too dark um, and I think it is just gorgeous but my friend Carrie Murphy here on YouTube decorates with these all the time and I always think what she does is so cute so I'm probably gonna try and pull something out like that off 
We'll see. <laughs> Wish me luck. Okay, next up is this super cute blanket. It's just like this soft pink color. I thought it would be perfect for spring. It's 100% cotton. Um, I don't know the brand. Wait, do I? Nope. I don't know the brand, but it's in great shape. Right, so I cannot wait to use uh, wash this and get it in my spring decor. Um, I'm putting, huh, look at that. <laughs> I always incorporate pink into my spring decor. Pink, lavender, and this year I'm trying yellow. And so far, I don't have hives. So we should be <laughs> I love yellow in other people's houses, but I bring it into my house and I feel like um, it's just too much. So, but this year I brought in the lemons from Target and I like them. So, you guys, wait to see what I found. Okay, so if you've been watching for a while, you know I'm always looking for farmhouse sheets, or farmhouse sheets, no, vintage sheets. I didn't find any, but I did find, wait to see it, two vintage pillowcases. Oh, can you see that? They're king size, I believe, um, which is amazing. And I'm just going to fold them up so I can show you, hopefully, the colors. Oh, they're so pretty. I love them. I love them. I love them. And now I need to get my butt going on my spring decor because I'm doing it so slowly, you guys. Here it is spring and it's not done yet. But I love those so much that I kind of want to buy the, the matching sheet on eBay. <laughs> I'm going to refrain. I'll try to find it. You guys wish me luck, please. Okay. Next up, I, okay. The sheets were 99 cents, or the pillowcases were 99 cents a piece. I forgot to mention that. And this blanket was 2.99. I found another Corel or Corningware mug. It was 99 cents and it is in the little ivy pattern. I don't know the actual name of this pattern, but I'm pretty sure my mom had this pattern and it brought back memories. They actually had the picture and, um, and then a, like a little squatty picture too, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, but So I've got three Corningware mugs so far to my collection. If you don't know, I've been collecting a bunch of mismatched little corning room mugs for my coffee. Um, you know, just to drink coffee with. Duh. <laughs> okay, so I haven't bought a piece of milk glass. Wait, yes, I did. I bought a piece of milk glass, was it last week? <laughs> so, yes, I did. That was a total lie. But this piece was $3.99, and I got this little basket. I thought that would be so cute with Easter eggs. I'm sure that's probably what it was meant for to begin with, or a little candy dish. But it was $3.99. I don't know. Can you see that? Yeah. Okay. So, and it just looks like this. And it has the little, I don't know, are they pansies on it all the way around? I thought it was so cute. So, I scooped that up. Another piece to add to my collection. And then I found my dinnerware pattern, kind of. Um, so, this pattern... Let me look at my pattern, just a second, so I can compare. Actually, I think it is my pattern. Ha! Ah, it is! Yay! I'm so excited. Okay, this one I grabbed from my cabinet. But I found one, two, three, four, five more of these tiny little bowls. I am so excited because these are the most popular dishes in our house. They're perfect for a little snack, small bowl of cereal, salsa for your chips. They're just so good. I was so excited to find these, so I got five more. Yay, so excited. Can I say excited one more time? And then I found this. It was $2.99. It's a blue transferware plate. I'm gonna pull the tag off it. Oh, it's just a little, it looks like a little English country scene. It has a couple of bowls in the front yard, like beef cattle bowls and then some people in the backyard, but it is just gorgeous. It looks like this. And it's, I would say it's probably a 10, eight inch plate maybe. I think 10, 10 is dinner plate size, right? Like a small dinner plate. So maybe this is an eight inch or seven, seven and a half inch maybe. But I can't. Okay, it says Barrels, B-A-R-R-A-L-L-S. And it has a picture of the cottage on the back too. That's like the trademark. Okay, cool. And then it says, 
Sorry for the noise if that's bothering you guys. I'll try to make it lower <laughs> when I edit. Made in England Staffordshire transfer wear. No, Staffordshire wear. Made in England. I can't read the last word. I'll put it on the screen at the end. How's that sound? <laughs> After I get it washed and get it all cleaned up. But I thought it was really pretty. So, uh, yeah. So exciting. <laughs> this next item, you guys, I think it's like a one-of-a-kind find for me. I don't know if I have the touch or whatnot, but I found this and I fell in love with it. And I was like, this got to be something. The first thing I found was this little plate. And um, it was $2.99. I don't know if you can see the details. Can you see the details? Yeah. And it's like, it feels good in your hand. Do you know what I mean? It's just like, it's got that nice weighty, it feels like it's something, you know? So um, I paid $2.99 for it. But then I went a little further and I found this. I thought, oh my goodness, that terrine is so cute. Um, and it's also, it feels good in your hands and it's nice and weighty. It was $3.99 and it has a little mark in there. I'm going to try and show you. There we go. And the mark is um, T&R Boots and Company. Um, so, and I looked this out before I was going to check out because I wanted, to, there's some of the ladies in there love to know if you find something good and they want to know when it was made and all that good stuff. So I was doing, I was chatting up with them and this was from 1851, TR and Boot Company. It's a sauce terrine. It's missing its spoon or ladle or whatever it was that was in there, but the set together with the spoon just sold on Etsy for $325. <laughs> now I'm having a hard time keeping it because was, what if it gets broken? <laughs> Maybe I'll love it for a little while and then sell it. I don't know you guys, but I'm having a hard time keeping it. But I'm afraid, I don't know, I'm chicken to start an Etsy store. <laughs> I am so chicken because I just, I don't know. I don't know but I was so excited about that so um, yeah that was probably my favorite find although I really I can't say that I love them all but that was my most expensive and most exciting find so um, that is my fun finds Friday I would like just as a reminder if you like thrift with me videos I do them on Instagram every Wednesday or Thursday this week it was Thursday so um, I would uh, go check me out over there and um, come follow me and we can be Insta friends um, because that's really fun. I really like doing my Instagram shop with me's and you guys seem to really like them too. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I will check you later. Mwah. Bye.